Good morning and thanks for tuning in. My name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV of Frederick, Colorado, and I'm going to take you through a brand new 2023 Logan Coach Bullseye. Um, I know we just did another one of these last week and it had more of the, the front tack and the dressing room in one room. This one's going to be the front dressing room and then a separate closet tack. So I'm going to take you through this tack setup too and just kind of show you what this one looks like. So before we run through it, I'm just going to go over the dimensions super quick with you. This is going to be the standard size, so it is going to be 6'9 wide and 7 feet tall. That one we did last week when it was one separate room up front, it was about 18 and a half feet on the floor. This one having that separation makes it just a little bit longer and it's going to be 21 foot 3 inches on the floor. So not too bad, still a great run around size trailer, but just gives you a little bit of that separation and different options. So let's go ahead and walk through it. So we'll start up here at our front dressing room. Like I said, the one last week, this was the dressing room and the tack room. This one's got it separated. So up here, you're just gonna have a carpeted dressing room space. Um, really could be super versatile, could be used for whatever you want. It is fully carpeted. It does have LED lights in here, so you can see what you got going on. Maybe you just wanna use it for storage. So there's a lot of room up here for storage. Maybe you wanna make more of like a hangout kind of room up here. I know we've had some customers say that these horse shows or the rodeos, they can get going pretty long and they want somewhere to hang out. So this would be a great space for that. We do have that corner space over there you guys were looking at. So very, I mean, the possibilities are endless over here. A lot of people will put in shelves or some other storage setup. Maybe even you want to run some sort of electrical to this trailer and set up a little fridge in here or a little microwave or something like that. We've had people talk about doing that too. So really lots of options up here. We kind of left it wide open for you guys to do whatever you need to do with this space. All right, we'll step out of this one. Show you guys what we got going on in this closet tack. So all of your tack space is gonna be over here. So everything you normally find in a tack room. We do have our blanket bars right here on the door. They do clip onto the door, but if you unclip this, they'll swing out too. So you can go ahead and make it really easy to just slide these pads on here. If you're saddling and unsaddling right here, you can just walk over, slide them on, slide them off if you're tacking up, and then just go ahead and clip it back to the door. And then that's just gonna keep them from sliding around or maybe sliding off when you get rolling down the road. So it keeps everything nice and secure for you. We do have a window window on this door as well. So we got a window on each of these doors, kind of give you guys some ventilation for these two spaces here, especially if you get some sweaty saddle pads on here kind of get that air flowing a little bit better it does also have a brush tray on this door um there is some of that carpet in the bottom that we saw up in that dressing room it does come out it is removable so in case something does spill in there maybe your fly spray or your shoshin main and tail detangler or whatever it is something spills in there you can just pull that out wash it off let it dry and then throw it back in there so really nice to have that option kind of keep that space a little bit cleaner like to just store whatever you need nice and handy right there super easy to grab while you're right there by your horses so that is nice with those blanket bars pulling out we do have a saddle rack that pulls out as well so again just making everything super accessible right here for you guys on the side of this trailer this is a four horse so you are getting four saddle racks with this one they are removable so if you don't need all four you can take one out or Maybe you want to take off the top one, take off the bottom one. You don't want your stirrups dragging on the floor and you just want to use three of them. You do have that option because they do come off of there. Inside of this tack room, we do have the carpet lining on these walls as well, up top, right behind your bridle hooks. So you'll see you, that's going to prevent from having that exposed aluminum there. So you get your bits or your conchos swinging around on here when you get going down the road it's gonna keep it a little bit quieter a little bit cleaner it's not gonna scrape up it's not gonna scrape up your tack either so it just keeps your tack lasting longer as well as your trailer so really nice feature also keeps it really quiet for your horses on the other side of this wall here down here we do have that vortex lining we'll talk about that more back in that stall area which is a really nice product that logan offers and they put it on all their trailers so we'll talk about that as we get back there you guys will see that hose that was hanging up there on those bridle hooks. That is for our water tank that's over here in the corner. Kind of some 
unused space. You normally get some things lost back in there. We went ahead and filled that with a 35 gallon water tank for you guys. Now notice it does have those two spigots on it. So the bottom one, can you can hook up that hose that comes with it and run it out your door. Maybe you wanna fill up some buckets that way. You wanna wash off your boots, wash off your dog, wash off your horse even maybe. Gives you guys that option. Or you can use that higher up spigot and just stick a bucket under there. Maybe you wanna fill your dog water bowls, whatever it may be. You do have two options with that water tank. So really nice that they thought about that and just went ahead and put that in there standard on this trailer for you so you have water on board. Maybe you just never know when you're gonna get stuck on the side of the road, stuck at a horse show, stuck at a rodeo, stuck up at a trailhead that doesn't have water on your trail rides. You do have that option to just water them right here. So really nice feature. This tack room also has an LED light up above the door, just like we saw in our dressing room. So super visible visibility with this trailer. Do have an LED light right here as we move our way back down this trailer. So you're gonna be able to see your horses, see in your closet tack, see in your dressing room, whatever you gotta do. This trailer does have sliding bus windows on the hip side. You got four of them there, pretty big, so it just offers a lot of ventilation with this trailer. You're gonna get four tie rings as well. Four horse slant load, you get four tie rings. So you can tie them all up on this side, tie them all up on the other side, or kind of mix and match, tie a couple here, tie a couple there. You do have that option. Working our way down, we do have two 6,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles on this trailer. Really high quality product, really nice axles. On those axles, we are gonna have nitrogen filled tires on an aluminum wheel. It's really nice looking rims there. And you'll tell by this green valve stem cover that it is nitrogen filled. So what that's gonna do for you, especially here in Colorado, where the air temperature kind of really varies. I mean, probably single digits last night and now we're gonna be working our way up into the 40s. So lots of range there. That is just gonna keep a steady PSI in those tires. So your air is not gonna fluctuate like the temperature does. It's gonna keep it pretty steady, really gonna reduce the risk of a blowout. So that's really nice. With these tires, brand new Lion's Head tires, you do get a one year, no questions asked replacement warranty and two years of roadside assistance. So it gives you lots of ease and peace of mind if you're running down the road by yourself. We'll go ahead and work our way back to the stock space back here. So I know up in our closet tack, we discussed this vortex lining just a little bit. It is a black rubber coating, similar to a bed liner, but I think it's just a little bit nicer, a little bit softer, a little bit nicer for your livestock that you got in here. What that's gonna do for you and your livestock is just keep everyone safe and protected. You get some animals kicking up on here. It's gonna protect your trailer and it's gonna protect their legs as well by not being a harsh material or just exposed metal. So it keeps, pretty dent resistant and um, just like if you get dents in here or scratches it's going to keep it from getting moisture in there and then rusting or corroding so with that they do offer a lifetime corrosion warranty on this entire trailer same goes for their floor with that vortex lining this is their aluminum whiz proof slatted flooring so it does look like wood planks but it is aluminum planks and you'll notice there are the slats in there so it will drain under there if you ever choose to replace these rubber mats with a polylast flooring or something like that i know we've got some people here in colorado that do that so you could change out the floor and then it would be 100 percent permeable but you'll notice that floor was covered in that vortex lining as well so really not a you have a, a lower chance of anything rusting or corroding on this trailer and you do have that lifetime corrosion warranty so very nice with that vortex lining. I see it throughout that stall area here. We do have three dividers in this trailer. They are padded, so it already comes with that for you. LED lights, vortex lining, rubber mats, and then above each of your stalls here, you're gonna have a roof vent. They do operate both ways. So you can go ahead and push them open forwards to draw that air in, or you can push them open backwards to draw that air out. Maybe up front you want then push forward to pull that air in, and then back here, push to backwards to pull that air back out and get a nice airflow coming through here, especially with those drop down windows on the head side and the sliding bus windows on the hip side. You'll get lots of air movement through this trailer. Each stall is gonna have a tie ring above it as well. So you can tie up your horse with that tie ring. 
They're just slam latches, but behind those slam latches, you're gonna get a piece of foam. So it's just gonna prevent the metal on metal contact. Keep things a little bit quieter. So if it does get vibrating a little bit going down that road, it is not gonna be as loud. And you'll notice each of these dividers have clips on them. With this last divider being a telescoping divider, it allows you to close it flat up against the wall. And then with all these dividers having these clips on them, you can clip them all together and leave it as just a wide open stock space. So it's nice to have that option as well. Maybe you need to move some lice, some loose livestock in here, some cattle, some sheep, some pigs. You never know, maybe you gotta move and you need to throw some mattresses in here or a couch or something like that. You do have that option of having all these clipped open, flat up against your wall, and then having that open space. So nice big trailer, nice having that option. Now as we step out, I'll talk about our roof. If you guys notice up there, there is a bow to that roof. What that's gonna do for you is just allow that moisture to roll off up top there and not sit up there. Not allow that snow to cause any dents or allow that moisture to eat away at your roof seals. So nice stock space back here, really well set up trailer. We'll go ahead and take you guys around to the head side and show you those drop down windows. This side is gonna be very similar to our hip side with the exception of these windows being drop down windows versus the sliding bus windows. And notice we have them all drop down right now and they are locked into place. So if you choose to run your trailer like this, you can do so and these will not these windows won't catch the air driving down the road and do that wave effect that they do. So you're not going to have the risk of them falling back down and then breaking any windows or anything like that. So nice that they lock in there. You can also drop down these jail bars if you need to. Just super easy one handed use there. You're just pulling down on that middle bar and popping these open. They do come with a window screen, but if you ever need to check on your horse, throw out some hay, throw out some water, you do have the running board to step up onto and then you have the jail bars that drop down so you can very easily check on them, fill their water buckets, grab their hay nets, whatever it is. Just makes it really accessible for you guys. So if you've got some long road trips, you get stuck on the road, blow a tire, get stuck in traffic, who knows, you do have that option. So just nice that they have thought about that and incorporated that into their trailers. Really easy to use these windows. You'll notice these latches, instead of having to reach way up here to this latch, they have made this mechanism that drops it down just a little bit lower. So it is going to be about eight inches lower. So it's a lot easier to reach if you're not quite as tall as I am. And it is one handed use. So very easy to access these trailers and check on these horses. And if you don't want to drop them down, you do have that option of the sliding window in these as well. So you can leave them all up and just open those windows just a little bit. Maybe on those chilly mornings, you just want a little bit of air in there so it doesn't get so hot and steamy. You have that option too. So stepping back, looking at this trailer, it is white. I know we do have this trailer. It's a very similar setup. And we have it in silver and we have it in a charcoal gray. We also have them in that tack setup I showed you guys last week where it's just the front tack dressing room. And we also have these trailers in more of a, a dual access tack room where it's a door on that side and a door on this side. So you can access your tack room from both sides. So we've got lots of setups, lots of floor plans on these trailers. So if you're interested in something else, I'd be glad to show it to you guys. Finish up here at the front. You see that vortex lining up, up on that drop wall again. So you live on a dirt road and you're gonna get some rocks kicking up here on this wall. It's not gonna chip away at it. It's not gonna cause any dents and then allow the moisture to get in there and rust that away. So it's gonna keep it clean and looking nice and lasting really long for you guys. We do have just one single leg manual crank jack on here. That is something we can upgrade to an electric jack. If that interests you guys at all, mount the spare tire up a little bit higher so we can fit that big box in there for that electric jack. But that is something our shop can do. And we do have a spare tire with it as well. With this being a brand new Logan, you are gonna get some really good warranties with it. You're gonna have an eight year structure warranty and then two years nose to tail on everything else along with that lifetime corrosion warranty because of their vortex lining. 
And on those tires, you do have the one year, no questions asked replacement and two years of roadside assistance. So lots and lots of great warranties. Buying new is a great trailer, really well made a quality trailer. So if you're interested in this one, we do have stock numbers on these trailers. You can reference this stock number specifically. It is 5N221688. If you're interested in this trailer or any of those other floor plans I mentioned or any other of those colors, just let me know. Again, my name is Michaela Geis. I'm here at TransWest. This is my email, Geis at transwest.com. This one here is my personal cell phone. So if you guys prefer to text, you can do that to this number here. That is 303-918-6367. And if you want to call my desk phone here at the office, it is 303-684-3472. Thanks for tuning in and I look forward to helping you guys. Have a great day.